If you've ever thought about moving to the Temecula Valley, you've probably looked at some of our videos here and maybe Temecula specifically, and you've checked out what it's like living here, some of the home tours, some of those things. But one of my all time favorite things to do, especially with new clients here to the area, is to walk through some of the crazy facts, some of the history about living here in Temecula. And so usually as we're driving around from house to house, like I'll pick up the phone and call them maybe as they're following behind me and go, hey, did you see that over there? Did you know this about this? And I'll share those bits. And today I actually wanna break down for you 10 crazy facts, a little bit of history about living here in Temecula that will be some fun for you if you live here in the area, but if you're looking to move in, maybe make the area a little bit more interesting for you. Hey guys, I'm Andrew Lewis, your local Temecula Valley realtor, and this channel is dedicated to all things Temecula Valley. We've got new construction home tours, neighborhood spotlights, and breakdowns of just all new things coming here to the Temecula Valley, and we want to let you know exactly what it's like to live here, give you all the scoop. So today, let's dive into 10 crazy facts about living here in Temecula. The number one, Temecula is actually home to the largest casino in the state of California. That is Pachanga Resort and Casino, which actually features over 200,000 square feet of gaming space alone, 3,000 plus slots if you're into that and you like to sit there and play boring machines all day long, or if you're into the card games and craps and all those kinds of things, those are offered there as well. And so the largest casino in the area, it's actually got tons of other amenities to it. Uh, there's hotel, there's some great fine dining, actually one of the best steakhouses in the area. Great Oak Steakhouse is there, so make sure you check that out, as well as an awesome spa and pool area. There's even an RV park, so there's tons to check out there. It's definitely a great place to stop, especially if you're just coming here to check out some homes, a great place to stay, experience all that it's got, and check out some homes. Number two, a little known fact is that actually one of the first post offices was housed right here in Temecula. Actually, April 22nd, 1859, the first inland post office here in Southern California was built in Temecula in the McGee store. And that was actually the second overall post office in the entire state of California. And so pretty unique little piece of history and we'll dig in a little bit more as to why that even existed here in Temecula first, but a cool known fact about the US post office. Number three, Temecula hasn't always been called Temecula. In fact, it was actually known as Rancho California until the city officially incorporated in 1989. So if you go back and look for records in Temecula, you might wanna change your verbiage a little bit if you're doing some Googling or something like that to find out a little bit more about the history prior to the city incorporating. Number four, and you probably already know this one if you've been looking up Temecula at all for any period of time, but Temecula is home to nearly 50 wineries. This is Southern California wine country, and it's kind of crazy if you're driving on the freeway, you might drive just past Temecula and have no idea of the beauty that is hidden behind some of the built up cities. So you might just pass right by it and have no idea what you could actually be experiencing if you were to just go inland a little bit and check out the actual wine country. Again, nearly 50 wineries, absolutely beautiful area there. And there's many custom homes that are built all around the area as well that have their own vineyards. And actually little known fact here is that you can buy one of those properties, put a vineyard on there, and you can actually have a winery pay you to come maintain that. They'll maintain it for you and actually take those grapes from you and use them on their wine products. So kind of a cool little feature you can add to some property if you do buy some property out there in Temecula wine country. Number five, we always love to dig into who's somebody famous that lives here in the area or has grown up here. And so I've got two people to share with you from Temecula. First off is Haley Deegan. You may know her as a very successful female NASCAR driver working her way up through the ranks of NASCAR. You may even know of her dad, head of the metal militia, Brian Deegan, uh, started with motorcycles and moved on into some off-road racing stuff as well. That's a really cool fact. And actually I'll share something personal about me here for a second as well. I grew up racing cars before I was in real estate and actually raced for the same team that Haley Deegan did based out of Sacramento. Now, let's move on to the second famous person here in the area. This is Dean Norris, best known for one of his roles in Breaking Bad. He's also in some other lesser known uh, shows like Under the Dome, but uh, a popular actor here in the area who's actually lived here for about 20 years and 
actually now owns the Swing Inn Cafe in Old Town Temecula. So if you're looking for a place to eat, go check that out. You may actually see him there. He does work there. He does interact with the people there. So you might actually catch yourself catching a selfie with Dean Norris. Number six, let's talk about how even some of the land in Temecula came to be because it always starts with one person acquiring the land and then they develop into a city over time. So back in the 1800s, Walter L. Vale was a cattle rancher, which is common for our area. That's also how Marietta got started as well. But he came to the area, saw it as fit for his ranch known as Vale Ranch, started the purchase process to acquire the land here in the area. He unfortunately died about a year into that process because apparently escrows weren't just 30 days back then, but died a year into the process and his son took that over and then actually grew Vale Ranch to be over 87,000 acres, which is double the size of San Francisco. So a very cool purchase that acquired the area here that eventually became known as Temecula. And as a, a tribute to them, there's actually a Vale Ranch headquarters, which is a very cool place that you can uh, experience here in Temecula that's got some uh, cool shops and just kind of an old western type feel some awesome restaurants and things to check out as well number seven back in 1882 the first train ride on the southern california railway system actually took place and it went from national city all the way to Colton, but actually had a stop in Temecula, and it was a hub, which is actually why we started to see the post office and some of those things be developed here, because this was a main stop along the main railway that took you across Southern California. Number eight is Temecula is known for its balloon and wine festival, which happens every single year here in the area. It is a huge event that has all sorts of hot air balloons. If you're not here or used to the area, you actually can see every Saturday and Sunday hot air balloons flying through wine country. It's absolutely beautiful, but the balloon and wine festival obviously sent around uh, hot air balloons and wineries. And so there's awesome tastings of all the different wineries in the area, some great food, some great concerts. We've got guys like Brad Paisley, Scotty McCreary, all sorts of some famous uh, artists that have come through to play awesome country music here in the area, celebrate the history of Temecula as well as the hot air balloons and the wineries. Number nine, for all you golf lovers out there, Temecula is the place to be. We have seven beautiful golf courses here in the area and we're actually home to the number three golf course in all of California. That is Journey at Pechanga. We mentioned Pechanga a little bit earlier, so it also has a beautiful golf course. A little pricey to play, but number three in the state of California, and guess what? Actually, number 10 in the entire US ranked golf course, Journey at Pechanga. So make sure you check it out. There's other great courses here that are a little bit more affordable, but uh, if you love golf, this is absolutely the place to be. Number 10, and I told you these were gonna be crazy facts, and maybe this one's absolutely irrelevant to you, but ducks have the right of way at all times on Rancho California Road. There is a duck pond there, so keep that in mind. As you drive up, you may have to pass that duck pond and watch out for those ducks because they've got the right of way. It is actually law here in Temecula. If you don't believe me, look it up. Fun little fact that we share with people as we drive by that duck pond. Tons of fun, but watch out for those ducks. That is it for our 10 crazy fun facts here about living in Temecula. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, I have so much fun sharing these little tidbits and I have tons more in my pocket for when I'm out with clients showing them homes here in the area. So would love to share those with you. If you enjoyed today's content, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to leave a comment below. If you live here in the area, tell me what else you think should have made the list. If you're coming here into the area, I'd love to answer any other questions about moving to the Temecula Valley, living in the Temecula Valley. And as always, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. We are dedicated to all things Temecula Valley life here, uh, new home tours, uh, neighborhood spotlights, as well as all new things coming here to the area to let you know exactly what it's like living here so you can make the right decision for you and your family. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time.